Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Learn now from your learning partner. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a world map in Power BI using a web page for population. This is a great way to visualize data and gain insights into population trends around the world. Step 1. Set up your Power BI dashboard. First, you'll need to set up your Power BI dashboard. If you don't have Power BI yet, you can download it for free from Microsoft's website. We have created a video which will show you step by step how to download the Power BI. Once you have Power BI installed, create a new dashboard and give it a name. Step 2. Add a map visual. Next, you'll need to add a map visual to your dashboard. To do this, click on the visualizations pane on the right side of your screen and then select map from the list of available visuals. Step 3. Import your population data. Now it's time to import your population data. You can do this by clicking on the fields pane on the left side of your screen and then selecting web from the list of data sources. From there, we can enter the URL of a web page from Wikipedia which contains list of countries and dependencies by population. We need to wait for a few seconds in order to get a pop-up window from where we will select the table which has the population. Now the pop-up window has appeared. We will select table 3 which has the country name and the population and from the below option we will select the transform button. When we click the transform button the Power Query window will pop up on the screen, from here we can clean the data as per the requirement, we will be covering in detail about the Power Query and how to use it in our upcoming videos, for now we will quickly delete the first column, we'll rename the two column to the country and third column to the population. After doing this, we will delete the rest of the column and we'll click on close and apply, wait for a few seconds as the data is loading in Power BI. Now you can see the data table is created on the right side of the window. We will expand it and now we can see the country and population column are added to the data. We will go to the visualization pane and we'll add the map. Hence, the map is added in our canvas we will drag and drop the country column to the location and now you can see the country is added in our tile. From here we will adjust the height and width of the map as per the requirement. Next we will drag and drop the population to the bubble pane. Now we can see the country which has the largest population is having a larger bubble and the country which is having the smallest population the bubble size is smallest. Step 4. Configure your map visual. Once you've imported your population data, you'll need to configure your map visual. To do this, click on the format pane on the right side of your screen, and then we have the two option one is visual and the other is general. In the visual option we have the subcategory such as map setting from where you can change the map to aerial, dark, light depending upon the requirement. The next subcategory is bubble from where you can change the size of the bubble or the color of the bubble depending upon the requirement. The next subcategory is the label by default it is off. We will make it on and now you can see the country name is visible in our canvas and the last option is the heat map, which is off we will keep it off as of now. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in creating your own world map in Power BI using a web page for population. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this.